We're gonna start with copper to stainless. And then we gotta add this stuff in later. So yeah. Most of it's all sanded up already. Just gotta clean up the inner edges here. For stainless to copper, I use uh, Stay Clean by Harris. It's supposed to be um, a little more acidic, so that's good for fusing copper to stainless, I guess. I've tried it, it works out pretty nicely. Gotta make sure you stir it up good. everything here. So I'm starting with this junction because it's probably going to require the most heat. Copper to copper doesn't take much, but going to stainless it's going to take a little more heat. Well, let's do it. Time to set up here. I'm gonna get the solder off or the flux. Sorry. Gotta make sure I keep this nut together here, otherwise, I'd solder it together without it. That would be bad. I guess if you don't clean the inside of your copper tube. It can uh, fail prematurely. Something with how it creates a turbulence in the line with your water or whatever you're flowing. You know, if you ever cut copper before, you know that it gets a lip on the inside edge. And you gotta take that lip out so it's you know it doesn't catch when you pull your finger across. So these things work really good for a smaller parts, like a half inch and three quarter, maybe even an inch. This is an inch and a quarter, so uh, be a little more critical with it, I guess. So it's not quite as clean as I'd like to see it, so I'm just gonna give it a little sanding on the outside here. 
soldering. Preparation is everything. And then, while I'm at it, inside of this stuff. It was a good idea to test fit it before you put the flux on. Slide in real nice. All the way up to your stopper. Especially with something you're most likely going to be working with tight constraints on. Now we're going to keep our heat up here. Get everything prepped. Get your solder out. Shouldn't take quite as much this time. And um, go ahead and add our flux. torch it, you don't want to cook it too much, but the solder will go towards the heat, which is especially important when you're doing like vertical, like if I wanted the solder to go up. off here. Final piece here. Make sure it fits. It's a little snug at the top. But make sure it goes all the way when we go for it. I'm kind of setting it so that the nut is blocking it. You see I only got a quarter inch between my previous joint and my new one so it's be careful with the flame on this one. And this is a lot of copper, so it takes a lot of heat. So, put the flux on it. Dad. Hey, bud. I have something to show you. Oh, give me uh, five minutes. Okay. I need to be sitting down here. Okay. I'll be right there. Side of this one. This 
supposed to be really close to five inches here. And we're spot on. Now you see I'm trying to keep the heat up on just that top piece. Walks off. Hopefully I wasn't uh, tipped for very long. Shoot. Well, that's uh, that's about it for this. Finish getting the rest of the flux off. If you like what you see in these videos, like, comment, subscribe. Got any ideas on how I can improve? I will gladly listen. Thanks a lot.